Hey, how's everyone doing today? I know that a lot of people have been talking about CS50 and how it's the best computer science course ever. Well, that's a no-brainer, it's from Harvard. But anyways, in today's video, I want to cover one assignment problem from CS50. So this problem is called cash. And to solve this problem, you need to know the greedy algorithm. And a greedy algorithm is basically one that always takes the best immediate or local solution while finding an answer. So in this problem, you have to pretend that you're a cashier and your job is to give the customer the least amount of coins possible. So here we have four different coins, a quarter, a dime, a nickel, and a penny. And let's say for example, you have to owe a customer a total of 41 cents. Now given these four different coins, there are many different ways that you can arrange 41 cents. For example, we can give the customer four dimes and one penny, or we can give them three dimes, two nickels, and one penny. And we can go on and on, but the purpose of this exercise is to give the least amount of coins possible. So this is where the greedy algorithm comes in. We want to get the biggest coin possible, so that way we can end up with the least amount of coins. So to get 41 cents, we want to grab the quarter first, and then after we can just do 41 minus 25, which will give us 16. And now we can't grab another quarter because 16 is less than 25. So now the next biggest coin is a dime. So now let's grab a dime and put it here. And now let's subtract 10 here, and this will give us six. And now six is less than 10. So now we can't grab a dime. So now we go on to the next biggest coin, which is a nickel. So now let's grab the nickel and put it here. And now let's subtract by five. And now we're left with one. And obviously one is less than five, so we have no choice but to use a penny. So as you can see, in order to reach the solution, we're always grabbing the biggest coin until we can't grab that coin, and then we grab the next biggest coin until we finally get the total amount of coins that we need to give the customer. And that is basically the greedy algorithm. And a great example of a greedy algorithm in real life is when you're trying to schedule a get together with your friends. You want to pick the date where the most amount of people can attend. And that's probably one of the hardest problems to solve but in general, we usually try to pick the date where the most amount of people can attend. And if that date doesn't work out, we try to pick the second date with the most amount of people. Now it's time to write the code to solve this problem. If you want to try this problem yourself, feel free to pause the video here. So here's the code from the assignment. As you can see, it's very ugly because it's written in C. So give me a few seconds to clean this up and convert it to Python. Two hours later. Okay, cool. Thanks for waiting. And here's the code. So here we have a program called calculate change. And then we call a function called get cents, which should ask the user for an input for the total amount of cents that the customer is owed. And then basically we have calculate quarters, calculate dimes, calculate nickels and pennies to calculate how many of each of those coins we need. And then finally, we print out the total number of coins that are used. Okay, cool. Here are the functions that we have to fill out. And because we're not programming in C, I have to move these to the top of the file. So let's copy this and move it to the top. Now let's fill in the functions. So for this function, we need to ask the user for an input. So we can do input, and then we ask the question, how many cents do I owe you? And then we have to convert this to an integer. So we have to do int like this, and it could be possible that we have a bad customer and they could give us a bad input. So we should put this inside a try and accept so that way we can handle these error cases. So here we're converting it to an integer and then we can put value error here, which means we have a value that can't be converted to an integer. And here we can just print invalid input, please try again. And we should store the input in a variable. So let's call this sense equals this. And we need to repeat this logic over and over until we get the correct input from the user. So let's do while and now let's indent everything and we should put while true. And then next we have to make sure the sense is greater than or equal to zero. So we can do if sense is greater than or equal to zero, then we can return sense. And if this is not true, we're gonna ask the user for the input again. And now let's test our code out. So let's click run python main.py. Okay, so there's one thing I forgot to do, which is basically calling the function. So we need to call calculate change. So let's go to the bottom and let's put it here. And now let's run our code. So here is asking how many cents do I owe you? So if I say zero like this, it's gonna say invalid input, please try again. And now we can put negative 10, and then it's gonna ask again, how many cents do I owe you? So as you can see, this was an invalid input. So now if I put 11, it's gonna work, but it's gonna return zero because we have to fill in these other functions. So let's do that really quickly. And one thing to note is that this code provided by CS50 is already doing the greedy algorithm for us. First, it calculates the quarters, dimes, nickels, and then pennies. So that makes our life very easy. And now basically we have to calculate how many coins we need. So we can do coins equals cents 
divide by 25. So that way we can know how many quarters we need for this amount of cents. And actually we don't even need this coins variable. We could just return this value instead. And when you use the double slash to divide, it basically rounds the values down. So that way you get an integer value. So now to fill in the rest is very straightforward. Let's just copy this line and paste it here. And instead of 25, we should put 10 here and then five. And then finally we can divide by one or we can basically just return the cents. So now let's run the code and let's put 41 here and we get four coins, which is correct. And let's try a crazy number just for fun. So let's put one, three, three, seven. And this requires 56 coins in total. Is that the right amount of coins? So let's double check just to be safe. So let's scroll down. So here we can add a print statement here and print out the quarters, dimes, nickels, and pennies. And now let's run the code and let's put one, three, three, seven. And as you can see from this output, it definitely uses the greedy algorithm where we're trying to use the most amount of quarters possible. So 53 multiplied by 25 will give us 1,325. Then we plus one dime, which is 10. And then we plus two pennies and we get 1337. Sweet, that looks good. So hopefully you learned something new in this lesson. If during an interview you get asked an optimization problem, make sure to remember the greedy algorithm. And if you're up for a challenge, check out this question, problem 322, coin change. It's pretty similar to this problem, but it's a bit more challenging. And if you guys want me to go over this problem, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next lesson. Peace out.